yours truly. I'm the one and only. I go by the name of Mr. Taylor Farrell. Please make sure you're following your boy on Instagram at is Mr. Taylor Farrell. Oh man, oh man, Boosie Badass is in the news again. And if usually, usually at this point in his career, if Boosie's in the news, it's nine times out of ten probably not for a good reason. So an old clip from one of Boosie's IG Live, this was like last year. I, I think this was, yeah, this was last year. Boosie was on IG Live and he was bragging about getting his kids head from a grown woman around the age of 11 or 12. So we'll go to the clip, then I'll explain to you guys what the heck happened to Boosie this time. I'm gonna get my son no motherfucking shit out here. I'm training them boys right. I'm training them boys right. Ask in them my, 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 my nephew. Ask in them. Ask my son. Yeah. They were 12, 13. They got it. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, hell yeah, I got my son dicks up. He's right. <coughs> uh, one person said, why nobody talk about how Lil Boosie was very openly bragging about having his 12 and 13 year old nephew and son molested by a grown woman, but y'all can openly talk about and mock and bash Dwayne Wade for simply accepting the fact that his child identifies as a transgender. Did the kids even want it? What mental state are the women in who willingly did this? And how does Boosie still have full custody? Boosie admitting to facilitating the mol molestation of preteens by an adult woman should be enough for his account to be deleted and banned at the very minimum. People co-signing Boosie are proving what we all know. A lot of y'all and your parents don't give two shits about your son. Society has brainwashed y'all into thinking physical, emotional, and sexual abuse makes your son a man. But what's good for your son ain't for your daughter. Boosie got too much money to be raising them kids like he be doing and there was a lot more of conversation about Boosie on Twitter social media just all together about how he opts to raise his kids again Boosie Flatfoot said his nephew and his son when they was around that age you know heading into the end of puberty he was like yeah I made sure I took care of them I got grown women to give them head this this conversation started from Boosie pretty much not wanting his kids to be gay or anybody around him any young dudes around him to be gay and I think that's wrong all right now Boosie we just saw you on social media a few months ago clown Dwayne Wade for allegedly or in you claim potentially cutting off Zaya Wade's penis right but Boosie you did also say let the kid make his decision let the kid make his own choice right well, you kind of in the same way making the choice for your kids. Be clear, Mr. Telefero speaking here. I am raising my sons as straight males if I have kids, whenever I have kids, right? But if something else happens, I got to be a man and still parent. I can't give up on my kid, right? So I just want to put that out in the atmosphere because I can relate to having a straight uh, to being straight and having uh relationships and wanting to pursue women. I am raising my son to be straight, but if something else happening, I'm giving my kid that opportunity to do whatever the hell they want. Now, Boosie, you letting a mature chick give head to your 12 or 13 year old boys is kind of taking that right away from them, taking that uh, that option away from them to, to, to make their own decision just in a different way. If you want to keep it a stack, keep it a beam. Here's the thing. I never get offended by anything Boosie says. Nothing Boosie says it, it, it doesn't bother me because everybody has a Boosie in their family. Some people have a lot of Boosies in their family. It's that old ideology of your kids got to be straight by any means necessary. It is just simply that's the theory. That's the thought process behind it. I think as we get older, generations are come, becoming much more open to letting their kids kind of decide their own life choices. I don't really understand why that clip went viral yesterday. You know what I mean? It's an old clip. Again, Boosie doesn't really offend me. I can tell you this, he does offend a lot of people as I read some of those comments from people who are not happy with Boosie's thinking. Don't really bother me, man. It's, like I said, it just, I know I have an uncle like that. I got multiple uncles like that. I got a, pretty much a lot of my families like that. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. It's the thought process. A lot of people just don't want their kids to be gay. That's wrong, by the way. That's dead wrong, but it is people's right to do whatever the hell they want. 
I really don't criticize how people parent their kids. The only thing is Boosie said it on social media, so he opened himself up to criticism. Like Dwayne Wade opened himself up to criticism when he came out, him and his wife, his wife Gabrielle Union, and said Zaya was identifying as a female. Uh, same thing for Boosie. You get on IG Live and talk about what you did for, to you, for your kids at an early age, you're going to receive criticism with it. I don't even think Boosie cares at this point because another story I read about Boosie is he's got another reality television uh, deal on the table. Remember, Boosie has a reality TV show dropping really, really soon with hot new hip hop that's going to kind of just detail his crazy life. But according to Boosie, he's got multiple offers for another reality show right after that one that would be more of like a VH1 type flavor flave trying to find love show uh matter of fact Boosie commented on it said I can't say what I'm gonna do money talks if I'm gonna take it they gotta make a whole bunch of fucking money off of it uh again he said in my reality show I got ownership right now if you ain't giving me ownership you gotta give me a lot of money so there is a potential deal on the table that was Boosie doing an interview with Vlad TV uh, that he, he often does those bad boys. He said there is a deal on the table for him to essentially find love. And I think he fits into that Flavor Flav role personally. I do believe he is the Flavor Flav of hip hop right now. So I would not be surprised one bit if Boosie opts to take that reality show. The point I'm trying to make is Boosie is Brandon, bro. The days of Boosie being a top down South rapper are over. He's a legend, be clear. But in regards to what's going to pay the bills today and tomorrow, Boosie gets it. He's a great personality. Social media loves him. And I think it's prolonging his career by being a funny dude, by saying some controversial stuff. I think it's going to help his reality show. And I think it's going to help comments like what he just made about his boys are going to help the pot uh, potential of a show if VH1 decides to pick it up or whomever picks it up, whatever network picks it up, with him trying to find love, it's going to be straight comedy, and he's going to pretty much catapult that show to good ratings by making clickbait comments like what he just made. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though, about Boosie and his comments that he made on his boys, his son and his nephew, and how at the age of 12 or 13, he had a grown chick go down on them, get them head to make sure that they turned out to be straight. Let me know what y'all think in the comment box below. I'm he now has 209 hot 100 entries. So just to put this in perspective, that's more than Jay-Z and Kanye West combined. Nicki Minaj and Chris Brown combined. Taylor Swift and Justin Bieber combined. Elvis Presley and The Beatles Combined, Aretha Franklin and James Brown, you get my drift here, combined. As great as Drake has...